Pinion angle is dead on. We've got everything adjusted. Okay, we're ready to do the oil fill. As you know, Banks Power has been uh, testing diff covers. Um, it's, gone on, it's gone on a long while, and we've learned a lot about them. We've learned that the square back diff cover has some really bad fluid dynamics uh, that eats horsepower and hurts mileage uh, and overheats the, the fluid. We've learned that a curved curve back diff cover takes the fluid right around and shoots it out through those crucial front pinion bearings and lubes them and cools them properly. We've learned that overfilling beyond the stock nominal four quart fill that American Axle designed for this axle, and they know what the heck they're doing. Uh, when you overfill, you work the fluid. You paddle the fluid with the differential section, and you just cause a lot of variation as well. We've learned a lot, and now it's time to take our best shot. Do our own diff cover. We're machining a billet prototype, which was at a dealer meeting, kind of a little small meeting at SEMA, and um, the boys over at Alligator Performance got some pictures of it and put it up on, the, on their websites. So if you want to know what our billet piece looks like, it was partial machined, but they got pictures of it. Some of the stuff uh, that's happening with this design is so fresh, so new, never been done before anywhere on the planet, so far as we can tell. So I took about a week and a half and I put, put all those things into a patent application and sent it off to the patent office and they've accepted. Uh, and now we have a patent pending on what you're gonna see. Whether it'll work or not <laughs> remains to be seen, but we're gonna ram air cool the diff cover. So this particular one is just to, to check our fill level. We plan on having a sight glass right here so you can read it right, right from behind the truck easily. And that sight glass, I want to put right at four quarts. We found on the GMs and on the Dodge Ram Cummins setups with this 11 and a half or 11.8 inch American axle uh, that they all fill to nominally a little less than four quarts. So we're gonna round it off to four. We wanna make sure we're machining in the right spot. So we're gonna bolt this pup on and we're going to fill it to four, mark it, and while we're at it, we figured we'd go to five, go to six, see where those are, and maybe in our test series, we'll overfill just to, to see what the negative impacts are. So the final chapter is coming as quickly as we can get this done. Stay tuned. There's so much more coming, guys. If you want to get it all, including the final chapter, subscribe.